All right. I have a trick. Yo, this is for everybody uh, that's new to Studio One. You know, most people that use it, they probably already know. You got a MIDI track. Let's say you made some drums. You know what I'm saying? Whatever how it be. But, you know, most of the time when you got your drum machine, um, maybe you want to, you know, put uh, some type of modulation on each sound. You know, on each sound and everything. And what I mean by that modulation is mean like, you know, pitch. You know, pitch and, pitch and what they call it. It's another name for it. Pitch. You know, harmonize, uh, that type of stuff. Fades. And just one simple thing you can do. You got your MIDI track. You right click. You go right here. Explore pitches to tracks. You click that. Boom. You got one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? If you really, if you go back, press Control Z. You got, if you look right here, you got five, one, two, three, four. Five. Now, all you're doing, all you're doing is just, you know, breaking the tracks down so you can edit those tracks better. All right, another thing. Let's say you're working on a drum machine and you want to work on your, you, you want to mix your instrument separately, right? In Studio One, if you open up your drum machine, you got each one of these. Each one got their own pattern, right? All right, so now. If you go, say I want to, you know, mix my snare drum right here. You go right here. This every each one of them got stereo one. You click stereo one, and you send that to two. The snare, you send that to three. The kick, you send that to four. That sound, you send that to five. What you want to do, send all the instruments to the same track that sound the same. Unless you you, you want the, you want the join to sound different. All right, so now if you, you check this out. Check this out. And I open it up. Slide this over here. And I click. That pops up on that track. This one pops up on that track. This one pops up on that track. This one pops up on that track. You name each one of them. You know what I'm saying you can click right, you click this button right here, make the tracks bigger, you know, and you can add all your, 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 your I'm saying your effects, add all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? All right. So now let's say, let's say um, you have a MIDI track and it's taking up too much CPU power. Let's say you got you got 12 MIDI tracks. VSC instruments. We all know VSC instruments take CPU. Maybe your computer's not powerful than you know somebody else. But anyway, every program can do this, but there's some there's some programs can do it faster, and that's why I like Studio One because this is John do it fast. What you do, you right click. You got the option called bounce selection. Matter of fact, I take that back. You right click, you got it called transform to audio track. What I do, I got to set up as the letter A. So all I have to do is just click on this right here, highlight that, and press the letter A on my keyboard, and these options will pop up. You got all these different options. What you do, read each one of them to see what's better for you. Do you want to keep the, the instrument once you bounce it, the wave? You know, do you want to render all your audio tracks to a different track, whatever? But what it's about to do is going to bounce this track to audio. I press OK. All right, what it just did, it bounced each one of my MIDI tracks to an audio file. And you can still see, like, the little the, the MIDI lines in each track to let you know that it's, it's, it's an audio file. So now all I got to do now, since I got the audio, you know, take the solo button off. You can hide this track. You know, hide all the MIDI tracks. Now you got all your audio tracks. You just say CPU power. You just cut the, the instrument completely off. You know what I'm saying? You press it back. 
you know. Oh, uh, give me a second, y'all. Play it back. I mean, it's something simple. But anyway, I just put something together right fast. Now, let's say you want to go back and edit that instrument. You're like, damn, I want to change something on my snares, my hi hats. What you do? You highlight all your tracks. I set my I set my drone up to the M. That's MIDI. So on my keyboard, I press M, the letter M, and it go back to MIDI. If I press A, the options about pop back up. Press OK, it bounces the tracks again. If I want to go back and edit the drone again, I press the M. You know what I'm saying? And I click right here. The VSC instrument is back up. Just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Shit is real fast, dog. Um, let me see. What else can I show y'all at this moment? Oh, yeah. Let's say you want to record different takes. This is for audio and MIDI. You want to record different takes. You got this part right here called layers. Layers right here. If you add a layer, you add it, you can name it. See, this can be layer two. Other can be layer one. Now, right here, layer two, I go to layer one. It pops up one track. I go to layer two, pops up another track. This is good for when you're recording vocals and you don't know for sure. You you might want to keep your first take because sometimes the first take is the best take. You might want to keep it, but you don't know for sure. Maybe you want to take something out that first take, but you be like, you know what? I, I want to keep that. I'm going to record another take. Maybe I record 20 fucking takes. I don't know. Whatever you record. So you're going to have layer 20. You're going to have 20 layers. Just one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. And you name each one of them different. You can go back and take different pieces out that joint. That's a good thing to do when you're doing MIDI. Just another day in the neighborhood. Alright, this is Chris Eastwood. The V next word of wool. Send it your like I do. Subscribe. Like damn should. I penetrate like a redneck perky wood. Stop the hating in the damn hood. Cause if you had money, wouldn't live in the damn hood. So many